What's up, guys? My name is Mad Squash Nine Two Four. Welcome back to another episode of you some uh, Yakuza Kiwami. This is part twenty thus far of our Let's Play thus far, where we um, I try to stay silent in the cutscenes when they're voiced, and when they are not voiced, I try to do um, some acting with my voice being Kiryu and other voices just being other characters. Um, but with that, we have this group again. Who'd have thought? Whoa! Ah. Uh. Uh. Huh? Okay. That bastard. Uh. Whoa! Uh. Bastard? You bastard. Uh. Gosh damn bastard. Watch where you're going. Uh my head hurts. Oh, oh my god. This is the end for me. Hey, uh, are you okay? Man, they got more guys since the last time we saw them, didn't they? Um, they got like two more members. Interesting. Well, you guys are noisier than usual today. Oh man, it's no use. These peepers are totally dilated. Hey man, you! What are you gonna do about those dilated pupils, huh? Fork over one million yen right now, asshole. And uh, you know what happens to you if you don't pay up, right? <laughs> I know you're a tough guy, but you don't really think you can take this many guys, do you? Well, my man, what now? This is still gonna be a joke and a half. There's no way I can pay that, even if I had the money. Come on, man, do you really wanna die, hey? Huh? Sounds like we don't got to hold back then. You're so dead. I disagree. Okay, round up and circle boyos. Come on. Oh, they're gonna pay for this. Boy, it's not really working out for them that well, is it? What's wrong? You're all so excited, and now you're dead silent. I can't believe this guy. His strength is unreal. He's so scary. Okay, we promise we'll stop doing this. Can you please fire in your heart to forgive us this time? Colorful parasol. Thank you. So, uh, we'll be leaving now. <laughs> okay, I guess they're gone. Again. Hopefully that's the last time. Seems like they're finally learned their lesson. I hope that was the last time they pull one of these moronic schemes. One can only hope. But that did give us a nice chunk of experience, did it not? With that, let us get the quick step blow. And what's this? Immediate recover up before an attack after being knocked down to the ground in rush style. Ooh, let's increase our combos for the rush style. And with that, there's roughly four more sub stories before we continue on in the main story. It's been quite a long time since we did the main story, must say. This is evolving the Miso King stuff, so we'll have to see, of course, if uh, the professor deems us worthy enough of actually being able to progress in that substory. And if not, quite frankly, it's not a big deal. Look at this cock of the walk out of my damn way. Where are you? 
Oh, is the cock crowing? I'll teach you who I am. Who are you? What am I fighting? Hello? What do you want, sir? I'm gonna be screwed. Kind of unusual. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, Majima. That's why they were talking. Majima got his own food to be in on it today. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? What the hell was going on? Again, kind of messed up. We're actually gonna have to pop some heals. I think we will. Ooh, that's a big chunk of damage. Come on. Okay. Fuck that. My goodness. Please stop healing. That would be most preferable. Get out. There we go. Wait, that was a tough fight. Okay, I lose. Come on, why do you have to? Why did I have to fight you on top of everyone else? Because if you're already fighting, what's one more? It's the perfect time to jump in when you think about it. Besides, you aren't allowed to have fun without inviting me. Next time you're gonna start a fight, you better call me first. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected a fight would be safe for Majin so. But he's gonna make it weird. Great. Um, we can upgrade ourselves again because Majima decided he wanted to be invested in us today. That's great. And I actually see something in the minimap again over here. Look at that. I thought they'd be done with us, but apparently they're not. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh, uh, well, uh, hello there. Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, it's you guys. You're not still scamming people with that whole bumping thing anymore, right? <laughs> no, no siree, we're totally reformed. For real. You know, these days we're into, uh, power walking. Power walking? That's right. Walking has some pretty great health benefits. Hey man, you wanna walk with us for a bit? We'd love to have you along. <laughs> yeah, it feels great to be out and about stretching your legs. Feels like I beat the crap out of these guys like an hour ago. And now they want me to walk with them? Should I? Sure. 
You know what? Okay. I'll walk with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The tough guy's gonna walk with us. Well, this is a trap in half. Well, why not? Good. So, where are we walking to? Oh, you'll find out soon. <laughs> Into this alley, jackass. Oh, really? Not exactly the friendliest of places. Did you guys really go to the trouble of playing this all out? And maybe you shouldn't try to muscle your way anywhere tough, asshole. Tommy, you're, this time you're dead. Every time we run into your ass, you beat the shit out of us. I actually just got out of the hospital, you bastard. I can't believe it. You guys even haven't learned anything. Shut the hell up. You broke our bones, and you broke our pride. Revenge is all we got left. So revenge is what we're gonna get. We'll take your money. We'll take our money back while we're at it. Yeah, we'll kill you. Okay. This is the last time, boys. I'm gonna regret it. So be it. No way. <laughs> We've planned it out and everything, but he's just too strong. So this was the best you could do. You still haven't learned your lesson. I can make sure you guys never walk again. How's that sound? Hmm? No, no need. Uh, we'll rock. We'll walk right out of the city, you know, I promise. Uh, come on, guys. Apologize to the gentleman. Uh, we're well, sorry. Right. And here I was thinking those obnoxious thugs might have turned around. Well, hope they're done with these stupid stunts. I mean, the walking was kind of nice, though. Maybe I should take the long walk the long way every once in a while, you know? That'd be cool. Ooh, 20,000. Look at that. They sure helped me get tougher, which is nice. Ooh, boost attack damage? Don't mind if I do. Okay, this time. Let's head this direction. Unless we get stopped once again. Hopefully we won't. By, you know, thugs. Or Majima. That would be, uh, idealistic for not to happen. Hey, let's go this way. I don't feel like dealing with them. We already fought a lot of people today. Quite frankly. Now, what's going on on this street? Um, let's take this thing off. We'll put the card watcher on. Might find some Miso cards along the way. It looks like it was just over here. Right? No? Well, that's where it appeared to be. Hello? Miso King? Ah, Miso King. 
Maybe the uh, sub story is inside the bowling alley. It does seem like it's in the bowling alley, does it not? Oh, look at that. Oi. Hey, you there. Hmm? Bowling battle, huh? Nice suit. Who's this guy? You look pretty built. I'd like to play against you in a match. How about it? You want to play a game with me? Many. A game? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Bowling. If you win, I'll pay you 30,000 yen. But if you lose, you leave behind 10,000 yen. Interesting. A bowling match with money on the line. Yep. So, how about it? You win? I mean, if I win, I do get 30,000 yen, but if I lose, it's only 10,000 yen. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, but what should I do? Well, it's sapped. I also saw there's a locker key in here. Sure, challenge accepted. All right, then. By the way, I used to be a pretty well-known pro bowler back in the day. Only stopped because I got fired after a little <laughs> scandal. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, so what? What? It doesn't even phase you to hear I'm a former pro? You seem pretty confident that you can take me on, boss. I mean, if I thought I'd lose, I wouldn't accept your challenge. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, let's get started. Introducing us to the bowling mini game of the Yakuza series. It's a good way for us to be introduced into it via sub story. We get our all our stuff. I know how it works. Um, you use this. You use D-pad. You choose which ball you want, and then you can use the D-pad to go left or right to decide where you want to go. And you determine the direction. It goes automatically. You hit the A button when you want that direction to be in. And then there's a meter. You hit the A button with that, that bowling ball meter when you want it to stop it. And that guy wanted to stop it there. And then you can control on the D-pad or the, the thumbstick how much power and curve you want it to go. And so you can kind of do it that way. And just like this, you bowl. Pretty uh, straightforward, I would say. Hopefully that wasn't the real one because that would be kind of screw me. I guess it wasn't. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do it. I haven't done it yet in this game, of course. Um, so we have a lot of balls. We have the Bright Flame, the 6-pound ball, the Ocean Sky, the 8-pound ball, the 10 Stars, which is the 10-pound ball, the Lush Leaf of the 12-pound ball, the Venom Lord of the 14-pound ball, and the Heavy Tank, the 16-pound ball. I preferably like to go use the Venom Lord myself. I'm a Venom Lord kind of guy. Then we put it there, we do this, and since I put it there, we uh, put some more curve into it. And just like that, you right. Guess he's an ocean sky man. You're a pro, huh? Okay. <sighs> what the hell was that? Throw oh, my ass. And we're only playing to three um, rounds, it looks like. Based off of the <gasps> up above. Otherwise, it would show all of them. But that looks like a spare. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yosh. Alright, so let's go back over to the Venom Lord. Ugh, can't be helped. And I want a little bit of curve on this, not too much. That's decent. Let's try the six pound ball. And I kind of like that, actually. 
That's good. Hmm. And as you notice, the, the lighter the ball, the, the slower that meter goes as well. For the back and forth of the striping of the arrows. Oh, oh my gosh, got a lot of spin in that ball. And it worked out for you. <laughs> okay. Let's try Venom Lord again. There's a sub story um, in Yakuza Zero, which I didn't let's play. Um, but I have done it before, where huh. you, um, you bowl, you have to get a turkey, which is three strikes in a row. And if you do, you uh, win a turkey. And it's pretty sick. But it's not a turkey, it's a chicken. And, then, and uh, I don't remember what his name is, but he, but he carry your names in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's do this. We have to spin it this way, otherwise it might be a little screwed. There we go. And let's go Venom Lord again, I think. We could try Heavy Tank, actually. And that looks pretty good. Huh. I don't even think I need to put any spin on that. Probably should have, though. Not bad. Let's see how he does. Uh oh, I think it's blown. Bucket it out of Oh yeah, he won. Yeah, I wonder if we still beat this up story even though we lose. Wait, <laughs> well, he seemed to kind of scam us, didn't he? Ha ha ha, you lose, boss. Did you think it'd be easy to take on a professional bowler and win? we will have to try harder. Okay. Thanks. What do you say? You want a revenge match? I'll yeah. pass for the moment. No problem. I'm always hanging around here. Come and find me if you ever feel like playing against me again. So, um, that's great. We'll try. We can try one more match if you if you guys want. Probably won't be bad to do some bowling mini games today, just because we haven't actually done them before, you know. So it'd be a nice change of pace from you know beating the crap out of people. And if I can't beat it this time, I will probably just do it off camera. But it probably won't be that big of a deal. All right, let's try to get it done. Hopefully we can, uh, beat this boy. <laughs> or, we can just have a nice, long episode. We're just bowling, having a good time, even if we lose again. It really doesn't matter to me that much. And it's fun. Let's get some spin on it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how he does. Yep, okay. So he's definitely gonna get a spare. There's no way he's gonna miss. <clears throat> I'd be very surprised if he did, truth be told. Yeah, as I said. And I don't know if you guys saw that in the little meter, but even though he didn't it didn't <laughs> he the meter at all, you saw that the ball, the ball was spinning slightly. You can actually spin the ball just slightly enough, even though the meter doesn't show it. Which is pretty interesting to think about. Huh. Damn. I really wanted that. Hmm. Which is not good, because uh, I 
I don't like his playstyle. He's kind of a dirtbag, it seems. Huh. You. Because I bet you, I bet you he'll get a strike here. Really? Okay. <sighs> yeah, that looks good. <laughs> okay, so, so far we are slightly winning. We almost get the strike. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay. We should probably attempt for the strike again if we can so desire. Ooh, I kind of hmm. like that spin. Ah, oh, I hate to see it. If he gets three strikes in a row, we're boned again. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. We did get a better score than last time. We got two more points than last time, but he got an 80 last time, so uh, I'm a little nervous. Ooh, I like that. those odds so far. A little better. Granted, there's no way he's not gonna get the spare. But it's whether or not. Ooh, okay. Oh, it almost looked like he might have missed the <laughs> one on the left. Granted, if he gets a strike here, I think we lose. I think. It's not where we where I win by a point. Oh, he he biffed it. Sick. We win. <sighs> Hell yeah. <sighs> I lose. You know, you can make it as a pro bowler. How about it? I'm gonna hook you up with some connections. Um, sure. Uh. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, boss. All the connections I used to have want nothing to do with me after the scandal. So you were just joking. And he got my hopes up. Well, your skills are no joke. Seriously, you're not bad. Here's the money I promised. With that, we still make um, 20,000 yen profit. Remember, if you ever want to play a game with me, I'm always up for it. Just until next time. Uh, just know next time you come by, I'll win. <laughs> I mean, it was fun playing against someone with a backbone for a change. Can't remember the last time I did. I'll see you around. A former professional, huh? It was pretty amazing. I think I might take him up on his offer and challenge him again. What a nice sub story. Nice, relaxing. We just went bowling. Gave us some XP for it. It was good. All right. With that done and out of the way, I'm actually going to go to Vincent and we can go back. Well, we can go uh, to the restaurant. And what the hell? Majima-san! <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. You should know how to barge away in the episode. Come on, get up, buddy. Yeah. 
get you out of the way. What a sneaky boy. Staying so damn calm even after a surprise attack. That's the key, Chad, I know. I thought you were just going to be watching me. You don't, you don't even have a good reason for attacking me out of nowhere like that. What are you whining about? I didn't see for myself that you could do when you weren't expecting shit to suddenly hit the fan, you know? That makes no sense. You're saying I can't let my guard down ever? Exactly. So, what should my next surprise be, Kiryu Chan? I'm up here. Oh, look at that. That probably means something crazy is going to happen the next time something happens with Majima. That always seems to happen that way. Regardless, let's get some food like I was mentioning. And go out for drinks for alcohol trivia. And I think we actually get to finish off that particular bar in today's alcohol trivia, which would be nice. Okay, let's see what we want. What we want. What we want. Oh yeah, I decided. Everything. Because now we have that perk where we can actually order even if we're full. So we got the Great A Kalbi, the Sirloin, the Great A Sirloin, the Harami, the Great A Harami, the Triple Barbecue, the Seafood Platter, the Kimchi Combo, the Stone Cook Bimbi Bim Bim, Bim Bim Bop, and the Spicy Beef Soup. <laughs> Looks good. And Kanrai is completed. Oh, thank you. We also can upgrade our abilities. I saw as well. We can get more health. Sounds pretty nice. And we'll head to Vincent's. Ooh. Okay, today we're gonna have the beef eater. Beef eater is the gin drinker's gin. Enjoyed in 170 countries the world over. It's very famous as a cocktail base for martinis. Nearly every bar has at least one bottle of this gin. It's characterized by its firm flavor and refreshing taste of citrus. It's my go-to for gin and tonic. And the last drink. Sky Vodka. This is the very famous brand of vodka. It has a very stylish bottle design, as blue as the California sky. The pure and smooth taste is created by the unique process of distilling and filtering multiple times. Perhaps that's the secret to their popularity? I highly recommend this drink. And with that, Vincent is completed. Oh, we're good. Uh, Vincent's done, so we're out of here. But we can start a new restaurant, well, a new bar, because we can't just keep on drinking like we, we can with the restaurants and just continue eating. So we're actually going to head over to Shellac, which is a different type of liquor bar. And that'll be our new go-to place to drink. Ah, it must be for Majima's people. Hello, are you there? Here you son. Need shit from the Majima family, right? What's wrong today? Uh, please hurry. We need you at Senryu Avenue. If you don't come, the boss will be in deep trouble. Wait, boss! Boss, no! 
Hey, uh, what's going on? What happened to Majima-san? <laughs> Sounds like Majima-san actually needs help. Apparently he's on Senryu Avenue. I better make sure I'm ready for anything before I head over. Probably means he's gonna jump us like he usually does, which is down here. And we'll definitely do that, not in this episode, but on the next episode. However, we will be going to show it to finish off our drinking for today. And here's Shelly. Ooh, and a Miso King card. Hello. And I don't see anything crazy here in Shellac. Yes, I'm say. Just the liquor. There's no cards or anything. Okay, we can get some Hibiki 17 years old. Japan's world-class premium whiskey. And yes, I do work here as well as my second job. My bags back and forth from Shellac to from Vincent to Shellac, as you see. After handpicking and closely examining age malt whiskey, this one is blended with mature grain whiskey. Considering its superior mellow taste, it's no surprise that it would want a gold medal in a global competition. The taste has a wonderful lingering effect, and it is often used as a gift. And that's where we'll end the episode for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of Yakuza Kiwami. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Some of you guys think of today's episode of beating up punks. Majima's ambushing us several times, and then we did some bowling to uh, clear our heads of all the fighting. And be fighting all the time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this kind of thing, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube where my channel is there. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And I'll see you guys next time where we go and see Majima and Sanrio Avenue. And then we will go and finish off these three sub-stories, hopefully. Um... The only one probably won't finish uh, um, sooner is this one, just because it involves us finding more Miso King cards, and if we don't find enough, we can't continue with it. And that's okay. Bye-bye, everybody.